So in our workshop, we talked about really building your path. And one of the things that we've shared as a resource is really defining your why. Why you want to be in a certain career, why you're making a certain change, why you want to do a certain type of work, what it is that you're going to share with the world. When you have that messaging, the next step is really finding your co-pilots, right? Who can help you get to that destination you want to accomplish? So we're going to do a little exercise here for everyone to do at home. And we're going to start with draw a big circle that says your why. And for those of you at home, it'll be what have you defined? Is it teaching English in Bali? Is it something else? And that's where you'll be focusing on. Now think about who in your circle of friends could really help you connect. And you don't have to have somebody who's going to be have a direct connection. Just think about who are people who are respected in, in their field, who um, is a good networker, who knows a lot of people, who's up on what's going on in the world all the time. Those are people that it's worth sharing your message, your goals with because they can help make those connections for you. Next, think about how about your family? Are there people who have different circles of friends, um, maybe they're in a different location and they know totally different people than you do, um, how can they possibly be part of your outreach crew, right? How can they help you get to that destination? The next one is, what about past job connections? Who do you still have good relationships with? Because they can speak to your dependability and what a hard worker you are and all your creative ideas you've had in the past. So especially if you're making a big transition, they're the ones who are gonna be able to talk about what skills would easily transfer because they're so ingrained as you in you as a person. The next piece is, what about the industry you've been in? Did you attend networking groups? Did you do an educational thing? How about somebody you met at a conference before and stayed in touch with? Then break it down into different places you've lived. I bet there's a connection in each city you've ever lived in or attended college in or any location you've spent a significant amount of time. Maybe you've summered somewhere with a grandma and they live in a different city. But then think about, are you an alumni of somewhere? Is it a school, grad school, even your high school could have good connections? And finally, what do you do? Where do you spend your time when you're outside of work? Do you volunteer somewhere? Do you play a sport for fun? Do you hang out in a crafting circle? What do you do? Think about all the people that connect to those pieces of life. Now the hard part for some of us is gonna be actually going through and checking off each of these people and sharing your message with them because sometimes it feels a little uncomfortable. But remember that if these are people who come to mind that you have positive relationships with, they care about you succeeding too and that you have a fulfilling life where you enjoy what you do on a regular basis. So work your way through your list and sometimes that's as simple as calling someone and saying, hey, can I take you to coffee? I have some ideas I wanna run by you. Let me know how it goes, guys, thanks.